Here's a player I wanted to talk about. I talked a lot about him during the season, but I never really gave him a off-season kind of year review. Uh, Christian McCaffrey, who obviously got traded for a lot of draft picks uh, to the San Francisco 49ers. And if you look at his pro football focus grades, not only did he get traded, but he kind of had a banner year for his standards, despite the fact that he played for two different teams. One of the things that definitely has to just jump out at you is the snap count. I mean, he had come off of back-to-back years where he was under 300 snaps for Carolina after being over 800 snaps in each of his first three seasons. So getting another 900 plus snap season, you know, on his resume is definitely good as, you know, running back's a very volatile position Once guys get hurt, it feels like it's easier for them to keep getting hurt. So for him to have just a full season of playing kind of gives you, you know, makes you feel optimistic that maybe it's not that his body is, you know, has, is is worn out, but more so just that, you know, he got hurt a couple times. It can give you that hope. It's also worth mentioning, I think, uh, you look at his individual grades based on specific areas, his passing grade, which obviously doesn't mean him throwing, uh, it means uh, him, you know, receiving. He's had other years uh, at that level. In fact, almost exactly at that level. Uh, In 2019, his PFF grade was the exact same as it was in 2020. And last year, it was only 0.4 points higher. But you look at his running grade, this was a career year for his running grade. And again, I know PFF grades aren't everybody's thing. So let's just get into the film and talk about what I saw when I watched him. I think a play like this is a play you could take several different ways so first let's just talk about the play itself so McCaffrey is going to run towards the offense's right that's the way it works as the left guard is going to pull over and block uh, Max Crosby the edge rusher on this play Uh, and then you also have uh, Kittle the tight end he's going to move closer towards the left block a linebacker Right when this play begins, you see that there is a defender who's, you know, could reach out and make a play. But part of what makes McCaffrey so special is his explosiveness. And I think that in San Francisco, part of why this is such a great, you know, match made in heaven is they obviously value speed so much. And McCaffrey is someone who is very explosive and can get through that gap incredibly quickly. Watch him get through the gap before he gets tackled, and then he's going to, you know, do good stuff in open space to pick up as many yards as possible. Again, there's two ways you could look at this. There's no denying this was a well-blocked play, and Kyle Shanahan is going to scheme up some well-blocked plays. That's what he does. I mean, people will, you know, sort of, people will say, well, yeah, they don't have a great offensive line, you know, in specific games, they don't have a great, uh, running back room who cares it's Shanahan he'll figure it out people have said that over the course of Shanahan's career in specific moments uh you know so when you have a great running back I think some people might say well is there really that much added value to it the reality is a lot of running backs could have gotten through that hole and picked up a ton of yards and it's a fair question but I think the flip side is well if you're going to scheme up guys getting to the second level a lot isn't it a good thing to get a guy who can do a lot of great stuff in that second level? Like something like this is another good example of, I think, you know, uh, I do feel like uh, McCaffrey does do a pretty good job himself of, you know, working in the Shanahan scheme and taking advantage of it. So it's not just like he gets schemed to the next level. And this is a good example where I want to highlight a linebacker for Seattle who's going to, you know, uh, try to be play a little bit aggressive right here. As you see when his play begins, he's going towards a specific gap to try and clog that up, and I think McCaffrey was originally going to go towards that same gap, but that looks to be what was going to happen there, but McCaffrey, he, you know, can see, which is always a plus, uh, so he realizes what's going on, but having great vision is probably the most underrated aspect of being a good running back in my opinion like everyone talks about speed acceleration shiftiness all that good stuff but vision is just as important as all those things and we've seen incredibly talented running backs fail because they haven't been able to read things as quickly and we've seen less talented running backs really succeed because they do make good reads very quickly as you see McCaffrey shoots through another gap and then it's just he just accelerates and picks up as many yards as possible he goes quickly to get as many yards as possible so that's something that definitely I don't think we talk enough about with McCaffrey but all of the elite running backs don't just you know run through the gaps that are there they find the run the gaps that are there as well also you know I gotta talk about the receiving game a little bit I think that he kind of uh you know people love to talk about McCaffrey as just a receiving back and well I think he's a lot more than just that uh you know that's definitely a big part of his game and 
what's going to happen on this play is he's going to chip the, he's supposed to chip the edge rusher, but given the fact that there's a blitzing defensive back, he's going to end up kind of blocking that guy for a little bit before running out to his, uh, to run his route. Watch how he again blocks, and I would be honest, I don't think he does a great job blocking there, but does a good enough job, and the offensive line helped him out enough that he's still in position to get ready to make this catch. There is a defender who's close who can, uh, you know, try and make a tackle. And as that defensive player, you know, gets near McCaffrey, look at what McCaffrey does to pick up as many yards as possible after that. Really good stuff. And he's not an easy player to bring down. Another underrated aspect of his game is how difficult it is just to tackle him. Like this plays another example where what's going to happen on this one is it's again going to be a passing play. However, this time when, uh, you know, the ball eventually gets to McCaffrey, he's not in a great spot. You have a linebacker who is coming up to try and make a play, but McCaffrey's going to do something really smart here. Watch him kind of just stop, basically, let his offensive lineman come in and make the play, make the block, and now he has room to run. Although, there's the flip side. Because he did that, now there are Raiders players right behind him who can try and run over and make a tackle. However, McCaffrey's so quick, he's able to run by them. Again, that's the acceleration thing that he has, and he's able to get to this spot where surely he's going to just get tackled at this point, right? Well, no, he's able to somehow get out of that as well and pick up a little bit more yards before, I think at a certain point, he just, you know, put his two hands on the football and said, okay, someone please tackle me. I'm tired. I want to lie down. Like, that was that run, basically. What a play from Christian McCaffrey. And he is capable of those just absolute highlight real level plays. But what I like about McCaffrey is that, and kind of why I like this fit in San Francisco, even though you could definitely argue the opposite, is that the reality is he's going to be getting the ball a lot, and he's going to be getting the ball in situations to succeed. He's going to be getting the ball with opportunities to try and make safeties miss and turn 20-yard runs into 70-yard runs. He's going to be, you know, uh, getting the ball in open space because everyone's paying attention to Brandon, you know, uh, Debo Samuel and Brandon Ayuk, right? These are the kind of things that he brings to the table, and it's almost one of those things where it's like, we all talk about how the running game sets other things up, but we don't necessarily always talk about how other things can help set up, you know, the running game and help set up a running back and how you know, make it easier for a running back. And for someone like McCaffrey, who has constantly, you know, a lot of times in Carolina had to carry that team. Now it's the opposite. Now he's in a great situation. Uh, well, now we're going to see kind of, you know, him really thrive. And we already saw a banner year for him last year. And I wouldn't be shocked if he put, puts together another one the following year. Should just mention, uh, I looked at the splits between Carolina last year and San Francisco last year. Wasn't actually that much of a difference. Don't know what that was. But, uh, you know, maybe he just Maybe he's gotten better. I don't know. Interesting, though. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And, of course, as always, thanks for watching.